They have, but it's still unclear being reflected here overall. One dealer I spoke with says used cars are holding their value actually more than ever before. And with low inventory, he says buying a cheap car just doesn't really exist. I don't want to say it's empty, but it's not as full as we're used to. Um, usually you can't even walk in here. Low mileage used cars are in and out of car dealerships like daily deals on Aurora. I've been in the business for 10 years. Never, ever seen anything like that. The pandemic supply chain backlogs are still trickling down to the small independent lots like daily deals that used to bring in eight or nine cars a week, now down to two or three. When we go to the auction every week, we're competing. So cars like this, for example, I'm competing with the new car stores to buy. George Riyadh says new dealers are holding on to valuable trade-ins and not enough car owners are trading in. The good cars, they're not circulating as much as they used to. And it comes at a cost. Right now, this 99 Mercedes priced at five grand is the cheapest on the lot. Everything else close to 10,000 and above. The biggest problem right now for average Joe, if they just want quick transportation, couple thousand dollar, nothing, doesn't exist. The car that I can buy in 2021, 2022 for six grand, now I'm paying almost eight grand for it. Meantime, the first quarter of the year hit a record high for monthly payments for new cars, averaging $730, up more than 70 since last year. And an average down payment is close to $7,000. Riyadh predicts the market will stay the same for the rest of the year, but rebound in 2024. And I think next year we're gonna, we're gonna see a whole different, uh, you know, energy uh, in the marketplace. Well, hopefully that's the case. And Riyadh says right now about 70% of his customers are financing compared to about 30% buying in cash. He says just a year ago, those numbers were flipped. Live in Seattle this morning, Drew Andre, King 5 News.